Black Rose is red. My favorite Ojama is blue. This is why I love Yu-Gi-Oh! And I hope you do too. What's up, you guys? So I know today brings a lot of mixed feelings for a lot of people. For some people on Valentine's Day, they absolutely love it. I'm one of those people. However, for a lot of people, unfortunately, they make this a single awareness day, some bullshit like that, and I'm not all about that. I think that's utter bullshit, and I think any way to make people feel bad is just awful. Uh, here's a little fact for anyone that wants to know the truth about Valentine's Day. It's bullshit, and here's why it's bullshit. It's bullshit because you don't need one day to treat your significant other you know the best way possible that should be every day this is just a glorified day like to sell roses chocolate etc etc and yeah that's all you guys need to know if you guys don't have anyone on valentine's day don't worry about it you always have Yu-Gi-Oh. think about that that's what this video is about i'm going to talk about all the reasons why i absolutely love this game and you guys have seen i've had a lot of videos i've had a lot of things about how positive the format has been and of course it's going to be one of the reasons you guys like my little cheesy intro uh poem uh, you know give this a thumbs up uh, this is just a different kind of video i'm actually going to be on a little mini vacation for the next couple days so there might not be as many uploads but just reference everything else it's pretty relevant i know that a ycs dusseldorf will be going on uh, and i will be doing of course a you know all those review videos once i get back um, you know, etc. Why, whatever deck one, etc., etc. But today we're going to focus on love, and we're going to focus on what I love about this game. Since it is Valentine's Day, I'm going to focus on something, you know, other than people. I'm going to focus on this game because this game has been a huge part of my life, and I'm sure for a lot of you, it's become a huge part of your life, and you know, you could probably relate. So, I'd say probably the number one reason why I love this game is because of all of you. Now, this can be broken up into two categories. We have people who subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. Then we have all the people I've met through this game through traveling to all these events. And let me be the first to say, if you've never traveled to a YCS or to an event, you know, for whatever reasons you haven't been able to, you financially couldn't do it, you know, it's completely understandable. Um, if you ever get the chance, it is something that I highly recommend. It will change your life. And I mean that in the most honest way possible. I look forward to YCSs like I used to look forward to Christmas when I was a little kid. I love them. I love everything about them. Sometimes the crappiest thing about a YCS is the weather. That's it. Like, honestly, that's it. Like, I couldn't go to Chicago, uh, you know, but I've been in YCS before where the climate has just been awful. It's either been way too hot or way too cold. You know, sometimes you don't pack the right clothes. Sometimes you don't expect weather. Sometimes you're not used to the weather. I'm from California, so a lot of weather, you know, a lot of really cold, freezing weather just throws me off. But, I mean, you know, you learn to adapt over time. Uh, the thing I can tell you guys, though, is there is no better feeling than getting on that plane or however you get to the flights and then arriving and knowing that, you know, in a matter of minutes or whatever, you're going to reconnect with people you haven't seen. My brother Johnny is a huge example of that. He lives in Kansas, for those of you guys that don't know. And, you know, being in California, you know, that's a pretty far distance. But whenever a YCS or an event comes up, we get to reconnect, we get to see each other. And, you know, it's like seeing, you know, it's like seeing my family. And it's just an amazing, amazing experience, you know. There's something about this game that brings people together. And I know what you guys are thinking, you know, you guys are probably thinking slim, it's just a game, you know, you win or you lose. Yes and no, but you have to look at it, you have to look at the bigger picture. You have to look at the experience. You have to look at, you know, I met these people so many years ago. Like for those of you who don't know, I actually met Johnny back in 20, I want to say it was 2011. When was Long Beach? Whenever YCS Long Beach was, was I believe it was either 2011, 2012, something like that. Uh, you know, the biggest YCS. That was the first time I met him. My channel had just started, actually. I started my channel back in 2011, for those of you that don't know. And, you know, of course, that's Agent Persuasion 2008. That's the biggest channel at the time. And, you know, that's what we all want to be like. That's what we want to aspire to be. And, you know, Johnny was just so cool from day one. And, you know, we continued to see each other at other events. And, you know, you know, time went on. I took my almost two-year hiatus a lot of you guys asked me about that and uh yeah it is very true during uh the i believe it's end of 2014 middle of 2014 all the way through 2015 into almost all of 2016 to like ycs anaheim of 2016 i didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys i didn't do anything Yu -Gi -Oh related i did very few things and then eventually i just completely stopped and why the, this is why the channel suffered so much 
But uh, other than that, you know, I came back and of course, you know, I'd see Johnny at events, see other people at events. And, you know, over time, you know, I would, uh, you know, room with certain people, including him, Danny, everyone. And, you know, then fortunately enough, I was, uh, you know, very fortunate to be picked up along with, uh, you know, to join uh, Dank Deals, now uh, Golden Goats, you know, to work with Johnny, work with everyone to be like the, you know, the best media uh, duo that you guys know. You guys know every YCS, every event, we're always recording the deck profiles for you guys. We're always getting all the, all the information you guys want. And I know you guys appreciate it and you appreciate us and we really do love it and we do it for you guys and we do it for the whole community i think that's just an amazing experience it's when you're able to you know have an impact like that and that's another reason why i love this game is if you really want to you can have an impact in this game it can be a positive it can be a negative it can be for all different reasons perfect example i'll give you guys my boy steven triff you already know shout out to you triff uh, you guys already know he's he's one of the best voices to come to this game one of the craziest voices to come to this game and one of the most outspoken people i've ever met and i love the guy to death uh, and it's crazy that you know just for playing pendulums just for being who he is just for you know being you know um you know, that really like dominant force when it comes to playing pendulums and really just being positive about the deck and not giving up on the deck. He's really inspired a lot of you and I think that's amazing. I think anyone that can inspire you guys, you know, to play a deck, to stick with the deck, to, you know, do anything in this game is just amazing. And, you know, you can say what you want about certain people. You can say what you want, think that you have different opinions, and that's fine. Everyone has different opinions. I'm sure there's plenty of people that don't like me. They probably think I'm full of shit. They probably think that I'm, uh, you know, just like whatever. But, you know, things, you know, kind of just all fall into place. And, you know, overall, I've realized the community is really not that bad. And I think that's one thing is I really love the community. I personally have not had any real issues with the community all my years playing. And, you know, there's always someone that wants to start something. There's always someone that wants to start with a negative comment or with something negative. But, you know, you grow up and you learn to just ignore those things at the end of the day they're nothing but keyboard warriors you guys just remember that and you know furthermore in the game like i love this game also because i always feel like it's me versus myself now i'm a person that when i work like even at work i kind of like to be alone and i'm not a loner or anything like that i just really like to do my own thing and it's because i like being in control of my own actions in control of what i do and this game gives me that opportunity i build my deck for myself to beat my opponent and you know it's a matter of can I pretty much put the puzzle together that, you know, leads me to victory? Can I solve the puzzle my opponent has put on the board in front of me? I always look at Yu-Gi-Oh! when I'm going second as a puzzle I need to solve. When I go first, I look at it as a puzzle I need to build that my opponent cannot solve. If you look at it like that, I know it's kind of a crazy metaphor, but you'll start to understand why the game is so amazing. Because there is so much you can do in and for yourself, you know, against your opponent, and you really learn throughout the process. I'd say another thing that I just absolutely love about this game is that it's constantly changing and i know for a lot of people it's scary i'll admit when pendulums came out i really didn't know you guys i didn't know what that meant i didn't know if it was gonna be a good thing for the game a bad thing for the game and you know eventually you know it settled in to where it's not even the craziest mechanic we've ever gotten i had same thing with master rule 4 when master rule 4 came out i was so confused i didn't know what links meant i didn't know what arrows meant i didn't know what any of that stuff meant and Eventually I learned and eventually I adapted and eventually I accepted everything that was going to happen in this game and that's what we continue to do and that's one thing I can say that I truly love about this game is we evolve with the game. We as players, we as people evolve with the game and you decide if you want to stay or not. I One thing people know about me, I have a lot of friends that don't play this game and I don't force it on them. I will never force Yu-Gi-Oh on anyone. I feel like it's your choice whether you want to play or not. And, you know, it's your choice what you want to play at the end of the day. I try to give people advice, you know, to play certain cards or certain decks depending on what they want to do. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all good. You know, I learn from people, you learn from people, we all learn from people. And I think that's another reason why I love this game is that we can constantly learn from each other. We can learn from each other's successes. We can learn from each other's failures. We can learn from our own failures. And I feel that once you realize you can learn from your own failures, that's when you really you know come full circle as a player i've taken so many terrible losses so many that were out of my control so many that were in my control and so many that you know got me mad at myself but then i realized you know it's through my losses that i learned the most i learned how i could have played better i learned how i could have sided better i learned how i could have not been greedy with this one play how i could have been more aggressive with this other play and these are things you learn for the future and you can apply that to anything in life Yu-Gi-Oh! taught me a lot about life and continues to teach me a lot about life. It teaches me about strategy. It, it teaches me about, uh, you know, solving problems. It's a real problem solver, you think about it. Breaking a board is like solving a really complicated problem. It could be a life problem, a math problem, etc. But, you know, you find your own way to do it, and I think that's just something amazing about the game. And like I said, I'd say the number one reason why I love all this and I continue to do this after all these years 
is mostly you guys. It's the support I get from you guys. It's the love I get from you guys. And it's the ability to come back and really just try to push out the best content I can, go to as many events as I can, and really just give you guys the best experience here on this channel. My channel I look at is so different from a lot of channels because I, I give a lot of the same stuff, but I give a really different opinion. And I think that's what I love about the whole YouTube community in a sense is we're all different. No two channels are the same. And something that I think is great about that is you're always going to get a different opinion. You're always going to hear a different uh, approach to things, a different opinion from things, and you're going to learn. I have learned so much from all these other channels and so much from all different players that I've played over the years. And I think it's something that we can all, you know, do together is learn, listen. You know, you learn to listen. You really learn to listen to what other people say. And I feel that when you can, you know, put your pride aside and actually, you know, admit that someone is better than you admit that someone you know is giving a more valid point than you and you can learn from that and you can apply that i feel that again you come full circle as a player first circle as a person it's just an amazing experience now i know it's valentine's day i know a lot of you guys are happy about it. a lot of you are not happy about it you want the day to be over but i hope this video gave you some inspiration don't look at today as you know something to be sad about if you're by yourself you're never truly alone you're never truly alone you have people that love you you have people that support you, you have your family you have your friends and again this is a bullshit ass day. This is a day, you know, created just for marketing and whatnot. And, you know, you can look into the history of Valentine's Day. I'm not going to go into it. That would take too long. But listen when I say that after all these years, having celebrated plenty of Valentine's Days, it's just another day, you guys. Some people absolutely go crazy over it. Sometimes I do. I'm guilty of it. Sometimes I do. I love, you know, spoiling my girlfriend, etc., etc. But at the end of the day, it's no reason to not treat them like this every other day remember that if you take away anything from the video when it comes to valentine's day remember that but the main thing i want you to take away from this is that there's a reason why i love Yu-Gi-Oh. there's a reason why so many of you love Yu-Gi-Oh, and there's a reason why all of us combined we will continue to love Yu-Gi-Oh through the highs through the lows through everything through every ban list through every ban list as nerve-wracking as it is as crazy as it is we still play and we still play because we love it so many people come back to the game after years so many people just can't put the game down why is that it's something in the heart you guys there's something in the heart that just keeps bringing us back and i think any game that can do that is just beyond a game it's like a way of life and it's something that i just thoroughly enjoy and i hope all you guys do too and i hope that today on february 14th that's right february 14th it's whatever it could be valentine's day to a lot of you to a lot of us it's just another day but Remember that, you know, you can love something and not be a person. You can love a game. You can have a passion. You can have a hobby, something that just, you know, shapes you into the person you are, and it really can bring out the best in you. And I think that's why, you know, on today, you know, I want you guys to know that I love Yu-Gi-Oh! And I hope you do too. And I hope that you guys will be inspired to, you know, have a good day, have a good rest of your evening, whenever you guys see this video. And I hope that it will inspire you to continue to play and continue to love this game because, I think it's amazing and I can't wait to see you know what the future brings because there's always something new evolving and we just evolve with it so anyways that's my little spiel here on February 14th Valentine's Day my Valentine's Day if you want to get really cre uh, really creative but I hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up just an honest discussion let me know why you guys love Yu-Gi-Oh what is it about the game that keeps you playing after all these years or if you're new to the game what do you love about it so far Yes, there can always be improvements and there will be improvements over time. We just have to be patient with it as we have to be patient with everything in life. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.